We try to be a lot more whimsical and fantasy-like than um, I would say a traditional hotel. Um, we have the expanse to really open up thinking of what people want. We have a young hip crowd that kind of gets what we're all about. For some reason, the ladies like to take their shoes off about midnight, uh, but we do ask that people wear their shoes. We're not here to judge. We're here to provide and make sure that we're in the style that they are. Each one of our weddings gets a catering manager, a social catering manager, that will guide them through the entire process from beginning to end. And that includes wedding coordination, ceremony coordination, uh, help with vendors and uh, flowers and so forth. I started off at the uh, Wyndham Resort in Paradise Valley, Arizona as catering manager and um, sold catering there. Uh, did a lot of weddings. I started in the wedding market. When I was a wedding planner in the uh, 80s and 90s, it was very traditional. You know, people really had a set standard of what a wedding was. People are very open about who they are and they want that expressed in their event. Brides are very savvy. They have the internet on their side and they can do a lot more research from their home. We're going to someplace special, but again, you're having to deal with many, many vendors and trusting those vendors are all going to come through on the day of the event. So each one has its checks and balances and looking at each one of those and knowing the weaknesses of each and making sure that those are fortified prior to the event day is really the wedding planner's job. A wedding planner does work with a um, specialized catering manager that is just solely theirs for that event and that day. For the experienced planner that does have their own vendor list, um, I try to be as flexible as I can in order for them to want to do business with me. And an experienced wedding planner is not going to bring in anybody I don't feel that doesn't represent them well and won't represent us well. The shortest time that we've ever had someone book a wedding was within one week. Um, it's amazing what you can get done in a week and it turned out to be a fabulous event. Um, you know, sometimes when you're under a time crunch you seem to be a lot more productive than when you have a lot of lead time. We are all encompassing. We have packages that include all of those items as well as just packages that include the ceremony and the reception. Being flexible with your day of the week as well as your date um, can save you a lot of money. People have friends and family all over the country anymore, so any wedding turns out to be a destination wedding in a way. We do provide uh, meals for vendors, and then we provide a, a private room where they can just take a break. You know, the vendors are gonna do a better job if they feel like they're part of the event and that, uh, that the planner has taken the time to really look after their needs as well. When vendors are arriving and um, loading and unloading, it's important that we have a schedule, a cell phone number, and uh, what they're gonna be bringing with them. We do uh, try to provide space for them to set up and store their items uh, so that they have the feeling of security that their things are looked after. One of the, uh, the key things to having a wedding planner is that the vendors that they hire are insured and that they have proof of that insurance well before their arrival date. It's important that wedding planners know to budget correctly. I always suggest that everybody do everything chronologically so that way they're not missing anything as far as details when they are planning the event. As a wedding planner that's beginning their career, um, as they call me, um, here's some of the things that are uh, a good clue in as to what we ask for. As the car pulls up, the valet opens the door, do they see a sign with the name of the wedding? What floor do they go to? What do they see when they get to that floor? Is there a place to place my gift? Is there a place to sign in? Our initial meeting is an important meeting. This is when the wedding planner and hopefully the bride and groom get to meet uh, the catering manager and the social catering manager as well as myself. And this is our chance to make sure that they're comfortable with who we are and what we're about to do. We do uh, ask for a uh, confirmation of date. Um, and it, it could include guest rooms if there's a guest room block involved. We do ask for 50% of the estimated food and beverage minimum. That seems to be a standard uh, throughout the industry. We allow that deposit to be used for another event within 12 months. Most people will book two or three hotels of different levels for guests. Some people like to travel uh, in the Ritz-Carlton style and other people more in the Motel 6 style. I think that wine is such a huge business and there's so many boutique wineries out there that you really don't need to go that route. I think it's important that people choose wine that's to their liking and that it suits the food well. We encourage people to use a bakery that they like um, and then we work with them uh, individually on arrival and storage and whatever it is that we need to make sure that that cake arrives safely and is cut perfectly. The key is, is to get as many details 
down in writing uh, from the hotel in the beginning and should there be any sort of hiccup that you've got that prior to the actual event day. One thing that I would suggest to any new wedding planner is that, that they have a good agenda but they allow for the flexibility in that agenda for people to have fun. It's important to keep things going but it's more important for people to enjoy the event and feel that it was seamless. Um, the wedding planner's job is to orchestrate the event but not to run the event. For anybody that is a new wedding planner, you know, some of the key things that you should remember is to have a great vendor list and trust these people. Uh, micromanaging uh, is a very static sort of way of dealing with people. Nothing's going to go perfectly, but in order to manage these events, you need to be available to manage any small crises that come up. Everything is about showtime. When you're on the floor, you are in a show and you're not to show any negative emotions or be upset on the floor. Um, those things are handled behind the scenes.